AOC, top Democrats issue stinging rebuke of Biden over failed climate promises. Several top Democratic lawmakers, including Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Democrat New York, heavily criticized President Joe Biden on Monday after his administration approved a massive oil drilling project in Alaska. The Democrats argued that the decision moving forward with the Willow Project, an oil drilling project forecasted to produce up to 614 million barrels of crude oil over its 30-year lifespan, contradicts Biden's broader climate agenda. They also indicated that the only acceptable outcome would have been for the president to completely reject the project. The Biden administration has committed to fighting climate change and advancing environmental justice. Today's decision to approve the Willow Project fails to live up to those promises, Ocasio-Cortez said in a joint statement with Representatives Raul Grijalva, Democrat Arizona, Jared Huffman, Democrat California, and Senator Ed Markey, Democrat Massachusetts, their decision ignores the irrefutable science that says we must stop building projects like this to slow the ever more devastating impacts of climate change. This administration clearly knows what the path to a cleaner and more just future looks like. We wish they hadn't chosen to stray so far from that path with today's Willow decision, they continued. The only acceptable Willow project is no Willow project. On Sunday evening, ahead of the expected decision on Willow, the administration announced it would block off roughly 16 million acres of land and water in Alaska near where the project will be located from being developed for future oil and gas leasing. Ocasio-Cortez and the other Democrats added in their statement that split decisions in the face of the climate crisis are not good enough. Overall, the federal analysis of the environmental impact of Willow estimated that it would produce as much as 278 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions, the equivalent of the carbon footprint of 2 million cars. And environmental groups have blasted the project for years as a carbon bomb.